Two teams here fresh off week one victories who can keep it going as we're underway on EA Sports. Taking it about the one. And he won't get this to the 20 yard line as he's down at the 19. So here's the first drive now for the 49ers. And leading him out, their veteran quarterback. And he was terrific in the opener through three touchdown passes. And make no mistake about it, he was eager to get right back out and do it again. So I think we'll see him try to test the secondary quite a bit as this game goes on. To throw right away, here's Montana. And this one nearly picked off. Yeah, kind of surprising to see a defender of his caliber let it get away, but get away it does, and it's second down. They will look to throw. Montana, that'll be caught by Rice. And he's going to get this one across the 30-yard line. From the 32 now, here's first and 10. They'll run for the first time with Trenton Cannon. And he'll be tackled right on the chalk of the 45. Another nice gain, 13 yards that time, and another first down. Now some movement before the snap. And we'll hear from our referee for the first time this afternoon. That flag accepted, and it backs the offense up a little bit. A full start backs him up five, first and 15. Montana. Pressure comes. He's taken down by the Seahawks defense. Robert Kimdichi credit him with a sack as he buries him for a loss of 10. Throwing on second and long. Montana. On the completion, Frank Gore. And they'll get this well past midfield before being stopped just before the 35. The catch and run going to wind up netting him 33 yards. Brandon, we've both been around the game long enough that we know that in pregame, defenses are pretty amped up, aren't they? I mean, they're pounding lockers, and they can't wait to get out there. But when you hit them with some big pass plays early, it takes a starch right out of them. And he gets this down inside the 35 before going out of bounds. Throwing again on second down. Montana. And he's going to get this down near the 25. Play fake. Now here's Montana. And this one almost intercepted. Not a good throw there. Nearly an opening drive, INT. To throw on second and 10, Montana. And this one incomplete. Too much contact to hold on to that one, and it's third down. Here's Montana to throw. He finds his man complete. It's Rice. And he is going to have a 49ers first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. Well, that's not just his first, not his second, already his third completion here on the opening drive. And I, I think it's safe to say that getting him the ball in this game, one of their top priorities. And the top priority for the defense has got to be finding ways to cover him. And I don't think you can have one basic coverage to get it done. You have to throw a number of coverages at him, make him think as he's running downfield, and hope you can create a little bit of havoc. Over the middle, complete to Samuel. So the completion results there in nine yards, and it'll bring up a second and short. To throw is Montana. Toward the end zone, but that's going to wind up incomplete. The 13th play now coming on this opening drive. Here's third down. From the gun, they'll try to run it. And boy, he is very close to a first down, but from where they're spotting that football, he's going to be a foot or so short. Give him a yard on the play, and he's definitely short. It'll be fourth down and a few inches. Here we go. It's Gore. And a 
across the goal line, into the end zone, touchdown 49ers. Frank Gore, his first touchdown of the new season. And the 49ers' decision to go for it pays off with six points. So they only needed a couple of feet there on fourth down, but they got more than that and then some as he takes this into the end zone. And I love your description right there, right? Fourth and short. They got that, no problem. Let's go ahead and get the rest of it. Finish it off in the end zone, touchdown. Everyone goes away happy on that one. Gold able to tack on the extra point, and that makes the score seven nothing. After the touchdown, it's Robbie Gold now to kick it away. Fields it right around the goal line. And he'll be brought down right on the chalk of the 20. Russell Wilson leads out the Seattle Seahawks offense. The veteran Wilson, a third-round pick back in 2012. And I think that even after a decade in the NFL, he doesn't get enough credit for not just his consistency, but his brilliant play and leadership as well. He's won a Super Bowl in Seattle. He's led his team to another Super Bowl opportunity also in Seattle. His numbers are always terrific, almost always in the Pro Bowl, and all his team does is win. This guy's a natural leader. And that is incomplete. Oh, the coverage a little too good there, and it's second down. Now he's going to swing this one out to his running back. Gets it up around the 22, but no further. Did flash the fancy footwork, but not much to show for it. An extra DB for the 49ers now on third. Now Wilson. And that's complete to Swain. And he'll be taken down, but not before they work it across midfield. So the line of scrimmage moves all the way across the 50 now as they come up first and 10. A first look here for D.J. Dallas. And he'll maneuver his way forward for about four, second and six. The numbers on the ground for Lynch a week ago, 21 carries, 99 yards. Well, they set a nice tone in week one. He's among the leading rushers in the league. I think that they continue to feed him the football and continue to establish the running game so they can get the play action and throw the ball deep later on. Just a one-yard pickup there, and it's going to make it third down and six. They are in need of six yards here if they hope to move the chains. On third down, Wilson. That's complete to Penny Hart. And he'll get this one down near the 20-yard line, just shy of the 20. A first carry now for Alex Collins. And he's going to be taken down with a marker on the field. So let's see about the call. So they accept the penalty, of course, and push the offense backwards a bit. From the gun, it's Wilson. And that one off the mark behind him, incomplete. So they'll come up after the incompletion for second down. Now Wilson. And he's going to go down. They sack him back right around the 30. The sack by Jordan Willis. Wilson and the Seahawks looking for something big following the sack. It's third and long here. Flush to his right. And he will slide down with a good gain. Able to find a seam for 14 yards, but still now facing a fourth down after the scramble. Myers kick is good. And they are on the board, but still trailing. It's seven to three. So both teams come away with points on their opening drives. Now they still trail. They answered the touchdown with a field goal, but at least able to break that goose egg here early. And that is what's important, right? Because they didn't let that initial touchdown go unanswered. Took the ball themselves, moved it downfield, and put it through the post for three points. Game on. The San Francisco offense ready to start their next drive. They'll try and start the drive here with Gore. And he'll manage to pick up about four. It's second down. Following the pickup of four, here's second and six. 
Hands it off out of the gun. He's brought down at the 34. Call it a gain of four. Well, this defense for the Seahawks, terrific last week in the season opening victory. It was a little bit enlightening talking with the defense coordinator about their performance last week because the feeling was that it was a good, solid performance. They did what they needed to do to get the job done and get the win, but definitely a few lapses that they're looking to correct. First and 10 for Montana and company. And the Seahawks defense gets to him, and they bring him down. Robert Kimdichi now two sacks for him already here in this first quarter of play. And here's a handoff out of the gun, and he'll be tackled at about the 35. A tall task ahead of him here, needing a full 15 yards to move the chains. Now on third and long, they'll look to throw. And that nearly intercepted. Boy, for a guy known for his hands defensively, that's a ball he probably thinks he should have come up with. But instead, it's fourth down. This will be a 41-yard punt, three on the return. And it'll be Seahawk football first and 10. Coming to the line here to begin their next drive, the Seahawks offense. Early on, you know, Charles, every game could be called a measuring stick game. But I think when it comes within your division like this, it's a measuring stick game with a little extra injury. I would agree with that totally because all division games have a little extra to them. But I like where this game is situated because at this stage of the season, it has that little extra juice. But at the same time, it's not a make or break if this were, let's say, week 15, 16, somewhere in that neighborhood. They'll check this down to Lynch, complete. The offense on third down, they've been okay. Two for three thus far. This is third and 14. Throwing is Wilson. This one into the hands of Largent. And he's not going to sniff the first down here. He stopped at the 25. That'll go for a gain of seven. And that'll bring up fourth down. On fourth down, ready to punt Michael Dixon. He only punted twice in the win last week as he gets this one away. That'll be a 44-yard boot, just a yard on the return as he's covered up quickly. And the Niners will go on offense first and 10. The 49er offense set to get this drive underway. No points last time out. They were forced to punt, if you remember, but no time to dwell on that. They've still got the lead here and a chance to add to that here. First and 10 as this new drive starts. On second and nine, Montana. Can't get away, and he's taken down. Robert Kimdichi able to get in there yet again. That's already three sacks for him here in this first half of football. Now Montana. Complete to the tight end, Kittle, over the middle of the field. And this effort will not get it done. He stopped well short of the first down at the 29. So on fourth down, here's the Australian native Mitch Wisnowski to punt this one away. And the fair catch is made at about the 27-yard line. It'll be a 39-yard punt, no return. And it will be first and 10 as they take over. Coming to the line here to begin their next drive, the Seahawks offense. Play action. Now Wilson. They dump it off to Lynch. And to the 36-yard line, taken down there after getting eight yards. On second down, Lynch, and he'll be brought down right around the 37. Line of scrimmage, the 37 on first and 10. Again, they'll pound it with Lynch, and he is going to lose yardage here. Officially, it's a one-yard loss. That's going to bring up second and 11. Here's the first carry for Alex Collins. And this winds up a gain of four to the 41. 49ers have an extra defensive back on the field. A nickel set for third down. Out of the gun. Here's Wilson. And that one completes a heart. And he is going to have a Seahawks first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. Oh 
They'll try the middle with Lynch. And he picks up about six as he gets this down to the 41. Six yards on that last play. Here's second and four. And they'll give to Lynch out of the gun. And the lane closes up quickly as he'll get about three down to the 38. Could be four down territory even if they don't get this, but they need just a few inches here on third. There's Wilson to throw. That one to Swain complete. And he is going to have a Seahawks first down, and he'll have it by plenty as they're able to keep the drive alive on third and inches. Now it's Wilson. That's complete to DK Metcalf. And he's going to get this down near the 20-yard line. This offense finding its legs now. Here's another first and 10. Back to the ground, Lynch. And this will be a gain of six when it's all said and done. Down to the 15 from the 21. On second down and four. Wilson eluding the pressure right. And that'll be incomplete. Took a pretty good shot as he tried to pull that one in. Couldn't hang on third down. From the gun on third down, Wilson escaping the pressure right. And that is incomplete. So Wilson heads to the sideline and on comes Jason Myers for the Seahawk field goal. This just 32 yards officially from the right hash. Myers kick is good. And they'll get it back within a point at seven to six. So the margin shrinks a bit as back-to-back -back drives here for him and with field goals. Yeah, we know no one's turning down three, especially in the first half, but you've got to finish these drives in the end zone. That's got to be a priority. Nice to have a reliable kicker, but outside of his agent, you know you'd rather him kick one-pointers instead of three-pointers. The San Francisco offense ready to start their next drive. Obviously not the intended goal last drive. They had to punt the football, but still, they've got the lead here, and now a chance to add on to that lead if they can get points on this drive. First and 10 upcoming. Great way to start the drive. 20 big ones in a first down. On first down, they'll go to the ground attack and give him about five as he gets this up to the 48-yard line. The Niners at 1-0 on the year following the win in week one, and they were able to get that road victory in the opener, and now they look to get to 2-0 in front of the home crowd. And look, any road win in the NFL, that's huge. But when you do it week one, that gets you pointed in the right direction and sends notice to the rest of the league that you mean business. So from Seahawk territory now, it's first and 10 at the 36. Back to throw. And his throw's going to be incomplete. They'll try again from the 36 on second and 10. Play action. It's Montana. Drops it underneath to Gore. A short gain of just over two yards as the first half clock dips inside of three minutes. Got to get to the 26 for a first. This is third down. They'll look to throw again. A dump off here for Gore. And a pretty nice tackle there, ranging up from his free safety spot as he'll stop him about a yard short. So the completion good for seven there. And that's going to make it fourth down. They'll run it with Gore. Just a gain of three, but they'll certainly take it as they convert on fourth down. The fourth down run successful. Now they look to pay it off on first down. Looking to throw, and a dangerous throw there, incomplete. He threw that into coverage. It was nearly intercepted. To throw once more on second and 10. Montana, he finds his man complete. It's Owens. And they're going to move it down to inside the 25. On third down, he'll drop to throw. Finding a safety valve here. That's complete. And he takes it down to the 10-yard line. The 49ers now are going to use the first of their timeouts 
as he'll stop it with just over a minute to go before halftime. Joe Montana here going to the air on first down. Over the... Oh, now he's stripped. He lost the football. And the Seahawks have picked it up. Defenders giving chase, but I don't think they're going to get there. He's at the 30. 10. And they bring this one back. It's a fumble recovery and a Seattle touchdown. And now, as with every potential turnover, they're going to take a second look at this just to make sure. Now, the question, was the knee, in fact, down before this ball comes loose? And is the video convincing enough to overturn it? A lot of factors here. Remember, you also need clear possession of the football afterwards. This is a tough one to overturn. Now another timeout called for by the offense as the stoppage will come with a little under a minute to go in this first half. So that one overturned. They say the knee was down and that will not be ruled a fumble. They'll try to run this one in. And he's going to take it in. Touchdown San Francisco. Trenton Cannon. His first rushing touchdown on the year. And the 49ers will extend their lead in the final minute of the half. Gold with the extra point, and the lead is up to eight. After the touchdown, it's Robbie Gold now to kick it away. Taken in at the three. A solid return, pretty good field position. They'll start at the 32. Coming to the line here to begin their next drive, the Seahawks offense. A slim deficit here in a one possession game. Not much time left, obviously. We'll see if they can march this down the field, at least get three and take some momentum into the locker room. Now the Seahawks gonna use the first of their timeouts as they'll stop it with just over 40 seconds to go in the first half. He hits Baldwin right side. Now another timeout called for by the offense as they stop it here with just under 40 ticks to go in this first half. Got his man complete over the middle. That's Alexander. And he'll take this from 147-yard line to the other. A gain of six. Quick hitter here, it's complete. And they'll get this down to the 42-yard line. And this offense going to elect to burn a timeout with five seconds remaining in quarter number two. Now with five seconds left, not really enough time to run another play and then stop it. So on comes the field goal unit. This will be spotted just shy of midfield, a 59-yard attempt. And this won't get there, won't be online either. It's no good, off to the right, and that will keep the lead at eight. And this is a commentary on today's kickers and just how good they are that a coach would think about running his guy out there to try a 59-yarder. Here it backfires on him, but as a kicker, you have to appreciate the confidence that they showed in you. And he'll be pulled down, and now a late flag will come with it. And that's in the area of a face mask, I think. Yeah, we saw that from up here, CD. A tug on the face mask, and the flag comes out. And we saw that last week they had some defensive miscues like that, and they told us that they had worked hard on it in practice and thought they had it all cleaned up. But obviously the message hasn't really sunk in. So we've hit halftime here in Santa Clara with the 49ers out in front as we'll send you eastward to Orlando. Standing by with that EA Sports halftime report now is Jonathan Coachman. Take it away, Coach. Okay, Brandon, we'll get you back to you and Charles in a bit. But first, it's time for a trip around the NFL following an eventful opening weekend. Let's see what's happening in week two. We'll start our tour out in the City of Angels, Los Angeles. And it's the Falcons who are out in front in the second quarter. The Falcons looking to sew that one up, and they look to be in pretty good shape. From there, let's head to the foot of the Rockies, Denver, Colorado, to check in on the Broncos. And this one going the visitor's way, as the Texans have the lead in that one. Two touchdown passes there for Deshaun Watson. Finally, let's get out to Southern Nevada and see what's happening with the Raiders at home in Las Vegas. And this one going the visitor's way as the Cardinals have the lead in that one. The Cards were losers in their opener, trying to get back on level footing as they lead on the road. 
Meanwhile, in our game, it's been a back-and-forth first half. Who can put it together in the second half? For the answer, we turn it back over to our broadcast team, of Brandon Godden and Charles Davis. Gold now out to kick it away. Taken in at the three. And it's a pretty good return here as he'll get this up to the 29. Coming to the line here to begin their next drive, the Seahawks offense. Charles, it'll be interesting to see what adjustments this offense made in the locker room. Haven't really been able to get anything going offensively, virtually nothing in the ground attack either. So certainly something has to change here in quarter three. And I'm pretty sure their friends from the defensive side of the ball told them exactly that because those guys, the stop troops, they've been playing pretty well. They've kept them around in this game. Now they got some time. The running game struggled in the first half. Opposition knows how to focus on defending the pass here. They've got to re-energize that ground game and maybe open things up for a comeback here in this half. They'll run on first down. Alexander, and he's got this one across midfield into 49er territory. So they'll come up after the gain of seven on a second and three. They go play action with Wilson. Throwing right, and that's complete. And this will move the chains again as the tackle's going to be made at the 49ers' 34-yard line. From the 34 now, here's first and 10. Here's Wilson. That's into the hands of his tight end, Will Disley. It's a jet sweep. Wilson with a little pop pass. And not much of a hole there as he gets it down to about the 24-yard line. This will be play number seven on the drive. Third and a yard. Again, Wilson. That's complete to Disley, the tight end. And he is going to have a Seahawks first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. Ball start's going to push him back, but these days, how hard must it be to be an offensive lineman? It's very hard, Brandon. You've got defensive linemen flinching, trying to draw you offside. You've got the loud crowds, and there are just so many super athletic players on defense now that you have to deal with each week. But through it all, these guys just sit in there for four quarters and slug it out. And he's able to work it here to the eight-yard line. Ball on the eight, second and two. Wilson. And he wisely will throw that one away. After the incompletion, here now, third and two. From the shotgun, Wilson. And this time he's got the hookup. It's complete. And the Seahawks are going to have first and goal coming up as they're able to convert there on third and two. They'll run. Here's Strong, the fullback. And he's maybe going to get this back to the four, but that's about all. Three red zone trips have yielded just two field goals for them to this point, so they'll be searching for something more on second and goal here. And he is met in his tracks behind the line of scrimmage. That'll be a loss of a yard, and it leads to a third down. Here's Wilson. And he's got it. Caught in the end zone for the Seahawks. Touchdown, Freddie Swain, a five-yard touchdown. And the Seahawks have got it back to within a score. Flushed out right, and he'll get in for the two points, and that'll cut the deficit down to just a field goal. Well, I guess the coach looked at the two-point cheat sheet, said go for it, get it to a three-point game, and they did it. Yeah, and sometimes you just throw out time of game. You don't worry about that. There's just a feel sometimes in making that call, and he felt good about what he had for a two-point conversion, and now they're only down three and feeling great about themselves. On first down, Montana. He finds his man complete. It's Rice. The 20. Touchdown, 49ers. River 
Craycraft, his second touchdown on the season. And the Niners are able to strike quickly to add on to their lead. Good start to the season for him. He had the touchdown last week in the opener and a second one in week two now. How about the pace he's already established, right? Not sure he can keep it up for an entire season, but don't burst the bubble because he thinks that he can. Do guys go into a season with a goal for touchdown scored or yardage? What do you think? I think every single one of the guys who's going to touch the football, they all have those types of goals. They all have those types of thoughts. And then they just have to see how the season unfolds if they can stay with it. Unfolding so far so good for him. Reed going to bring it out of the end zone. And he'll be stopped right around where he would have been had he gone down to a knee, maybe a yard shy of there at the 24. Coming to the line here to begin their next drive, the Seahawks offense. A strong showing their last time out. They scored the touchdown, but Charles, they look up, and they're still down double digits, so you feel like just to keep pace, this drive probably needs to end in the end zone as well. Yeah, and I think the best move for them is to not worry about how far they are down on the scoreboard, but to just remember the last drive and how it ended. Go ahead and try and repeat that. Then you can look at the scoreboard and see where this game is. It was Eric Armstead fighting his way through that time to record the sack. Wilson of the Seahawks looking for something big following the sack. It's third and long here. He'll find Metcalf. Just a gain of a couple there. And that's going to bring up a fourth down. Now here's Michael Dixon as he'll punt it away for the second time. His first punt, 48 yards. This one looks equally as good. Fast footwork by Sanders. Eight yards on the return following a punt of 41. And they will take over first and 10. The 49er offense set to get this drive underway. Well, partner, you know, coaches always say that every play is designed to score a touchdown. Sometimes that's not really true, but last drive, that was the case. One play to get into the end zone, and now they'll try to duplicate that success here. And it's rare for those moments to happen. Incredible when they do. And you saw the celebration. Pure, unbridled joy after that one. On first down, he'll drop to throw. And seeing no options, he just tosses this one away incomplete. Now that'll bring up second down. After the incomplete pass, here now is second and 10. Here's Gore now running out of the gun. And he's going to get this pretty close to a first down as the tackle is made at the Seahawks 38. They'll try and pick up the first with Gore. And he's going to have the first down yardage to the 35. Another carry now for Gore. And yeah, this will be a gain of five as he gets it to the 30. The first down run got five. Here's second and five. One back in the backfield, he'll get the carry. And he'll fight forward maybe to the line of scrimmage, but that's all. Play number seven now coming up on the drive. Third and five. They will look to throw. Montana. And he's going to have to eat this one as down he goes. The defense rising to the challenge and setting him back on the sack. Wisnowski on to punt as he sends this one away. And a little too much mustard on that one. It hits a couple yards into the end zone. A missed opportunity there maybe to pin him back. Coming to the line here to begin their next drive, the Seahawks offense. And our game's hit a little bit of a lull here, a little bit of a snag. Punts on back-to-back -back drives. And old-school coaches don't necessarily mind that. Didn't turn it over, right? Didn't create a big play for the other team. Right now, what you're looking for is can you gain an advantage in field position? And that's what both teams are seeking right now. Yeah, they'll be seeking to gain that advantage here on this drive. This offense in desperate need of a conversion as they come up on third down. Wilson. They'll set up the screen to Lynch. And he'll be corralled right around the 34. 10 yards and a Seattle first down. And they're not going to get to the line to run another play. So we will switch ends as the third quarter has come to a close. 
We'll return with more after this. This is the NFL, and it's on EA Sports. And now a throw on first down there, but it's incomplete. From the 34, they'll come to the line on second and 10. To throw again is Wilson. And his throw is incomplete. Not sure what happened out there, but it looked like the timing was a little off on that throw. Well, you know I'm a defender, so what am I going to say? Great defense. I'm darn right. They did something to disrupt that timing. And he comes back with one complete. They had a nice job there defensively. They get him to the ground short of the first, right around the 42. And here's Dixon to punt now as he gets this one away. And great special teams work here. This is knocking on the door of the five and spot it at the six-yard line. Absolutely love the flexibility of these punters. Their leg drive, able to get it way up in the air. And that allows their punt team to get down there and down it inside the 10 because they've had some time. Montana. The tight end Kittle has it on the left side. And he is going to lose yardage here. The ball resting on their own five here as they come up to the line on second and long. Operating out of the gun. Here's Montana. Throwing for his running back, and he's got him complete. And this offense on third down today, they've hit on half of them, five for 10. This will be third and six. Here's Montana to throw. Now they go screen, it's complete. And he's gonna have a Niners first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. On first down, they'll go to the ground attack. Brings it up just shy of the 25. Showed some of that quickness there on the move. From the 24, Montana. And that one going to be off target and incomplete. So the incomplete pass on the last play, and that leads us to a third and three. To throw is Montana. Looking left side, and he's got a man. That's Owens. And he is going to have a 49ers first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. The passing game continues to be their friend. Even with a stable lead here in the fourth, Charles, they're going back to that well. Yeah, with their overall philosophy, you know that they trust their quarterback. He's been able to throw it well. They continue to throw these safe passes. Who can blame them? This drive's taken more than three minutes off the clock already as they come up on second down. And here's carry number 10 for Frank Gore. And not able to break away this time as they're going to stop him right around the line of scrimmage. They're two for two on third down conversions on this drive. This one tough. They need nine yards on third down. From the shotgun, he'll look to throw. Fighting to stay upright. And a big loss here as he's taken down. Taken down for the fifth time this game. Multiple defenders there to get him. Here comes the 49ers punter now. As he'll punt it away for the fourth time today. It'll be a net of 40 yards following a punt of 44. And out will come the offense as they take over. Coming to the line here to begin their next drive. The Seahawks offense. Throwing now, Wilson on first down. To the right side and complete to Largent. That's good, the completion there for seven yards. And it'll be second down. They go to Lynch on the toss left. And he'll be brought down right at the 45-yard line. They run again on first down, Lynch. And boy, this defense again really making things tough on him as they stop him for no gain. Looking to throw on second down. Wilson steps away to his left. And he is out of bounds inside the 35. Nowhere to go downfield, but he's able to get out of bounds and stop the clock here with a first down. left side and able to get this to the 31 well done to sniff that out defensively he had it diagnosed pretty quickly I love that description because diagnosed is perfect on that one read his keys made the play 
and he couldn't even get going moving the football. And this will move the chains again as the tackle's going to be made at the 49ers, 18. First and 10, and they've got three tight ends out there. A jumbo package look. Up the middle they go. It's Alexander, and he'll go down here at the 12-yard line. The last run got six, now second and four. Now Wilson. Throwing it a traffic there, and that's complete. And the Seahawks are going to have a first and goal as the tackle is made at about the five. Now it's Wilson. And he will throw this one out of the back of the end zone. It's incomplete. A line of scrimmage once again, the five, as they get ready for second and goal. Now Wilson. End zone caught. Touchdown, Seattle. Colby Parkinson, a five-yard touchdown. And the Seahawks have made it a one-score game again here in the fourth. Extra point up and through by Myers. And now things get a bit more interesting here in this fourth quarter. So just a three-point game now as they send this one away. Taking it about the one. And he'll get it up just past the 20 as his guys will go to work at the 21-yard line. The San Francisco offense ready to start their next drive. After the touchdown we just saw, we have a brand new ball game. And now look at the situation. You've got plenty of time on the clock. Defensively, they have three timeouts. So do you run the football here or do you throw it? I think you have that full conversation with your offensive unit. And you tell them, here's the situation. They've got all their timeouts. So we are not going to play this conservatively. We've got to attack them. We've got to make them use those, gain the ground that we need in order to put this game away. If you think we're just going to run it three times and punt it, you've got another thing coming. Yeah, I and mean, by the way, also the two-minute warning in play. So essentially four timeouts left. They have to be aggressive here. Completes it to Davis. And he's going to have a Niners first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. They'll try and choose some clock with Gore. And I think this defense knew what was coming as he is smothered behind the line. So their task a little bit more difficult now. Second and 13 that they're walking up on. Shotgun. Here's Montana toward the center of the field, but it's incomplete. Possibly a turning point. Big play coming. This is third and long. Back to throw here. Slant route connects with Debo Samuel. And he is going to have a 49ers first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. So it's 49er football here as we get you reset. They've got a first and 10 as they look to try and finish this one off. They'll try and run some clock here as they keep it on the ground. And he gets it inside the 35 and just shy of the 30. And quickly, we're going to get another stop here with 1.54 left as they call the timeout defensively. And not totally home free yet, but it's looking good as they come up first and 10. Back to the ground, this time with Gore. And he'll go down at the 26, following a gain of six. Now the Seahawks call the second of their three timeouts as they'll head to the sideline and talk over what to do next. Now on second down, this is Gore. And he'll be tackled at the 23 after a gain of three. Now the defense will burn their third and final timeout as they'll head to the sideline and talk over what to do next. On third down, they'll run with Gore. And they've got it inside the 10 at the 8. 48 yards rushing for him in the ball game now on 14 carries. It's first and goal and a late touchdown at this stage. Could officially salt this one away. Down to a knee for the 49ers. This one about to be on ice. Moved back to the 10. They'll try on second and goal here. So he'll take a knee here to wrap this one up, and he's going to want to keep that game ball. He was sensational. Oh. 
So no shortage of offense in this game, but a very clean game too, Charles. Each side got its points, but they did so without committing a single turnover. That's so true, and it certainly felt like NFL football at its finest, right? You talk about the highest level for both of these offenses. Neither one of them afraid of taking risks, and both of them aggressively pushing it downfield. I did like, Brandon, how smart they were about going about their business, though. They were high flying, but they took care of the ball. Yeah, they did. And just keeping it clean in a game like this with all these points, you don't see that very often, even at the highest level. Job well done by both sides.